HM Sports. It's the HM Lions Sport, and I'm Jack Dolgen. No, no, Jack, Jack Holgen. No, it's Dolgen. It was Holgen on Sports. And I'm Jack Dolgen, on my tag team partner, Jeremy Roth. And today we're going to finish off what has been an absolutely phenomenal year for both Horace Man Sports and the HM Lions Sports' own success. So uh, without further ado, Jeremy, what's on tap? In store for today, the Ultimate Frisbee team looks to clinch a playoff spot. The golf team hopes to end its season on a strong note in Nices, and the baseball team seeks to advance in states. Needless to say, I'm stoked, Jack. And so am I, so don't move a muscle because that's all coming your way right about now. Let's start off with the Horseman Ultimate Frisbee team taking on board. The Lions were just one win away from advancing to the playoffs and helping out the cause. This is Ben Shelley with the catch on the run in the end zone for the score. Continuing on the aerial assault just a few minutes later, this is Bennett Heller going deep. And he finds Anthony Gagliardi with the diving catch. Absolutely sensational. But back comes Barr. They deliver a pair of passes. And that leads to an easy score, cutting the lead to just three. Scratch that. Cut it to just two now. They get the score, but I'd recommend they concentrate less on reacting over excessively and focus more on playing some defense because they had no answer for Bennett Heller and these Lions. Go left. 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 They get the catch. And if you don't like that, you don't like Horace Man Ultimate Frisbee. Then to finish things off, this is Bennett Heller looking deep one more time. Why stop one hungry? This is Anthony Gagliardi. It's another catch, another score, another touchdown for these Lions. And Horseman would go on to win 13-10, advancing to the playoffs for the first time in two years. Although the Lions would go on to lose in the semifinals to Stuyvesant, it was still undoubtedly a remarkable season for the team. Congratulations, guys. Welcome to the 2013 Nice Age Golf Tournament. And look at the Horace Man Golf Team getting stoked for its game. Here's Sam Minter, the spiritual advisor for this team, but his reaction says it all on that shot. Near Steven Paduano with an excellent approach shot. He finished with an 85 on the day. Look at David Lee Tolley. Silky smooth. Gets out on the green. Chris Kim! Wowzers! What an excellent shot. He finished with an 87. Charles Calvary got himself out of the bunker nicely and set himself up for this excellent looking par. Finished with an 83 on the day. Wave to the crowd. Chris Kim going for a par and he just misses. It rims out. That's unfortunate. We still love you. David Lee Tully, textbook. Textbook. That is fantastic. <laughs> Gets on the green and two shots and finishes it off with a par. That's an excellent shot. He finished with a 79 on the day. Near Sam Minter, going for the birdie, but just misses to his right. He'll finish with a 78 on the day, the team best. Here's Michael Chain finishing it up. And as the Horace Man team would finish fifth out of 16. Way to go, boys. Lastly, it's the Nazis baseball semifinals, and it's the first batter of the game Ben Green going to work, slapping into left field and getting on base for the Lions. Two batters later now, it's Glenn Brickman first and second. He hits a gap shot into left center. And check out Ben Green rounding third base in this incredible relay throw. It's 7, 1, 5. They would pick Ben Green off at third base and squander HM's best offensive chance of the game. Now there are two outs, and that's Ryan Thier hitting it hard, but right at the field some third baseman. So the Eagles avert any and all trouble for the inning. And now we go to the bottom of the first. It's a bad throw by Roth, leading to a worse throw by catcher Alex Bauman. Fieldson would scratch home the first run of the game, and they would not look back. We're still in the bottom of the first now, and check out the slow tap by the Fieldson Eagle. Mikey Reese has a chance to get the runner up, but instead he does more harm than good. Plating two runners and uh, helping Fieldson take a commanding 3 0 lead. Fifth inning now. Someone's eating his Wheaties. That's Fieldson yanking it into left field. They would bring home another run, and that helped them go on to win 10 0 in Mercy fashion. Despite what was an incredible season for the Lions, 
they fell short in the playoffs and were not able to capitalize on their previous success. Luckily, though, we were able to catch up with two of the seniors, and here's what they have to say. Um, you know, although we didn't look any way we wanted to, but we got to the finals. And we really came together as a team down the stretch. We played great baseball, and we did some things that no other Horace Band team has ever done. We won seven straight games. We beat Polly for the first time in 12 years. Eric Mass had that catch. And there were just a lot of things this year that we did well, and we stuck together as a team. And you've gone from being a freshman to now suddenly playing at a top premier Division One team. How do you attribute your success? What what caused you to get to where you are today? And what's the future for Jesse Roth? Um, I mean, I think HM did a lot for me baseball-wise. You know, giving me a shot to play as a freshman um, really, you know, was, was really good for me. Um, and you know, being a big part of this team all four years was great. And uh, just being able to play in the Ivy League, which is a pretty good league, and exposing myself to people that are um, pretty important in baseball around here really helped me in my career. Before we wrap up, just a few closing remarks. I want to start off by saying uh, how thankful we are for uh, you guys, the viewers, for showing support and watching our episodes and uh, helping increase uh, school speed at Horace Man. I think it's safe to say there's been a steady rise in school spirit over the year, and uh, we've been absolutely humbled uh, to be a part of that, and we can really only thank you guys for making that happen. Uh, and also, it's just been a total blast putting together the episodes, filming the games, and uh, watching the continued growth of the HM Lion Support. But we're not done yet. Over the summer, the Lion Support team will be making a new Lion Support website which will not only have the full length episodes or studio updates, but will also have articles and pictures from... It's going to be awesome. The, yeah, it's going to be I'm, awesome. I'm excited for it. And also, uh, the Lion Support will be making a Twitter account over the summer, which will allow students to get the most up-to-date results from each and every team that the Horace Mann Athletic Department has to offer. And on that note, uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode, and we look forward to seeing you in the early fall next year. Alongside Jeremy Roth and the rest of the Horace Man Lion support, I'm Jack Dolgen, and happy summer. Sayonara.